motivational godfather. I'm here because you know I love you and I believe in you. There's greatness planted inside you. You need a little bit of water to grow up beautifully. And I'm here for sectac because I believe in you. You know, I've been on altar for that long, like, you know. <clears throat> and so through that, I've got a lot of messages. People want me to show the, the seven simplest way to become an author. And um, today I'm coming to talk to you about it. You know, being an author, maybe you haven't thought of it, but we all have a story that can change somebody's life. You know, all this book behind me, there are people who believe that their story can change somebody's life. And that's why they put pen and paper. Today, you and I, we have technology, which makes things so easy, simple. You know, some of these people, when they wrote their books, you need to look for a publisher who is going to take you through process. They don't like this. You need to change this. They don't want this. You need to do this. But today we got self-published. We got a lot of businesses out there that will help you to become an author. It's another employment that you may have. <laughs> Becoming an author, automatically you become a speaker because you need to talk about your book. So it's another job that you will have. Yep, instead of the whole thing. Hey, Isaac, man, we need to talk. <laughs> Call me in chambers, let's talk. Or send me an inbox, let's talk. All right, so today I'm coming to take you to the simplest way to become an author. You need to have a legacy. At least being an author, I have like, you know, five books. I'm on my fifth book, nearly done. And so I've got a book, this book, this, this is my first book. Look at it. This, this is my first book. I wasn't really excited when I got the book because the design and all those stuff, I didn't know much about it, but as time goes on, I improved. This book took me to President Kufour. Look, he signed it. It says, um, signed President Kufour. President of Ghana, John, John Kufour, President of Ghana, 2001 to 2009, January. So he signed it. He signed it. This book, this book took me to that level. And <clears throat> not just President Kufour, I got to get in touch with Nanado. He signed, <laughs> this is his signature. He signed all this part. And so this to tell you that Maybe you, have, you haven't seen what is inside you. You haven't really seen that you can be somebody. What about giving yourself opportunity to write a book, to become an author? Who knows? But one thing you need to know, your first book may not hit unless you are a celebrity already, unless you are like, you know, somebody who is up there. But you still need to continue because... You know, the lady that we all copy and we want to become like, you know, become that powerful. She wrote, she wrote Harry Potter. Harry Potter was her 15th book. You've never heard her name before. But because she wrote Harry Potter, now she, you know, Harry Potter, she got a billion dollars. She's the only person who have made a billion dollars out of a book. And so who knows, maybe you can become the next Harry Potter writer, the next somebody. You need to believe in yourself. That's one thing you need to believe in yourself. All right, so let me take you to the process. All right, number one, you need to have a reason. <laughs> Even though I'm telling you to become a writer, you still need to have a reason, a reason why you want to be a writer. You know, there's a saying that, your purpose may not, your purpose in life may not have much impact unless you have a particular reason or a particular purpose. The reason why you want this. And so that reason needs to be massive, bigger than everything. And so you can get to that level. All right, number two. Let's say you got your reason. You got why you want to write a book. So... Let's go to number two. Number two, you have ideas. 
What kind of ideas do you want to bring on board? What is worrying somebody? What is the problem that you want to change? Or you want to be a solution to the problem? You know, it's only in Africa that politicians come and tell us the problem we know already. <laughs> they come on stage, and they tell us the problem we know already. Meanwhile, they should bring solution, but they will repeat the same problem why we voted somebody out for them to be in power. They will repeat the same problem. But this time around, you being an author or you being upcoming an <laughs> upcoming author, you need, you need to know what kind of a problem you want to deal with, what kind of solution you want to bring to a problem. All right, so we got that one. And you need to have a title. So let's say it's this book, this is my first book. This is um, The School Life. And this guy's instead of the Ghanaian or they make it three. So that was my first book. So I didn't know much about it. And so this, this book, Fortify Your Youthful Mind, I got a professional designer and all those stuff. We go through that. But you need to have a, a title, a catchy title, a title that will catch somebody eye when they are looking at your book. Like, you know, like, you know, Lady Swad one, the silence of, the silence voice of millions. So she's talking to majority of the people out there to see that she's speaking for them, especially from her community. And so that's why you need to have a title, a title that will catch. Um, maybe some people say maybe um, a simple title, but it depends. Because there's another book that says, feel the, feel the, feel the fear and do it anyway. So there's, there's a lot of books with a long title, you know, positive mindset, positive thinking, uh, all those stuff. So you choose your title, which one you think is going to be better for you. And so what's your story? Number three, what's your story? So you need to have a story, you know, you need to have a story. If you meet somebody like me, I will make your story genuine for you. Uh, you get what I mean? Because I've been doing this for that long now. So I'm, I'm like, you know, up there. All right. So what's your story? The story inside this book, let me show you this book, which is Fortify um, the School Life. It's about my life I led in school. Like, you know, it says here, your youthful days links up to your future. Most of us, when we were in school, we never knew that whatever we we're doing in school is going to face us in the future. That's why majority of the people, we end up failing the final exams, which when I was in school, they used to call it uh, WAIEC. And um, I don't know now what they call it, but most of us fail it because we didn't know that whatever we were doing is gonna lead to our future, like tomorrow. So we were just, when we were in school, man, we were that kind of, I think we were possessed or something. We were, we were so crazy to the extent that we were not listening, especially when you are, a young person that age between 15 to 18 where your parents are not around and you are with your peers and so that's why i came up with this the school life because of the things that i saw in school and i've come out of it and i've seen the changes that i've gone through and majority of the people still struggling and so i came up with this book to solve that problem and so that's what I said initially. You need to have a solution. You're not bringing a, another problem. What, yours is to bring a solution. All right, so. All right, so through that, you need to have a, a table of content. What will be your content? Like, you know, for mine, it was the school life corner. This, this is my old book I'm talking to you about. Um, a new book is this one. Uh, it's on the way. This is like my second book. I got my third book and t a fourth book written already. And print out is on the way as well. And my fifth book is on the way. 
that's why you see my eyes haven't been sleeping I'm on my fifth book all right so you need to have like you know a table of content if you know anyone who have written a book before will help you to get to that table of contents you, you just sometimes people put a preface but you can just put a acknowledge introduction purpose of the book or maybe just forget about it and go straight to your topics you want to discuss all right so number four you need to know which particular group that you want to talk to for me i've chosen the youth and so the youth start from maybe uh, 15 all the way to 30, 30 or something like that. But I know the UN says uh, from 15 to 25. But I chose from 15 all the way to 30. That's my, my bracket. You, you can choose to write books for children. It's your choice. We you, you have people who write books for adults. It's your choice. Like, you know, Lady Swa's book is mainly for the adult, especially married women. You get what I mean? So that's what you need to choose. So you have your group now. All right, number five, you need to group your topics. All right. Let's see inside this book here, uh, Lady Swa's book. If you, you see, we've grouped the topics, which... Chapter one, chapter one, uh, creativeness piece of like, you know, whatever. And uh, chapter two is life free for all. So chapter three is voice it out. Chapter five, now chapter four is the 21st century Muslim woman. And uh, chapter five is the forbidden fruit. So it's so powerful like you know i love this book all the books that i've like you know read written help people to write i just love it because their story look at the thickness of the book that's why you need to have a story or you need to have a professional to help you to write the book all right let's go number six number six you need to write your manuscript today we have like, you know, technology to help us do spirit check and all those stuff. But you just need to write your manuscript. You need to put pen and paper on and write it. Or as it comes to your head, you type in. For me, I'm the kind of a person when I sit quiet, things just start popping up in my head and I write it down. And um, if I'm writing, I can have like millions of ideas and you need to know where to put each word. Like, writing a book, it's not a day job. Some people get stuck with it. Because the process, you can't... There's no way you may finish... This This book is um almost 200 pages. There's no way you can finish 200 pages in a day. Unless you have a team. But by yourself... Unless you're not working as well, but if you're working full time, it's going to take you a longer time to do it. And sometimes that's why people give up. But it's another way of making income. But it's a slow process. Unless you are a celebrity, then the rest is history. All right, so you have your manuscript done. Then you need a professional editor. A professional book editor. Don't go and get design a magazine newspaper no get a professional book editor who edits your manuscript for you uh the, there's fees you you need to know that you are investing in your future so you will still pay fees from here and there there's a lot of people who who are on the internet who can help you out in australia if you want somebody to edit your book for you your manuscript the first the first thousand words is about five hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, the first thousand words or the first hundred words, one of them is about five hundred five hundred dollars. Then you, it goes up, like every hundred words that comes together goes up, or every page or something like that. So you're gonna be <laughs> by the end you finish your book, 
if you edit it fully, probably it may cost you like three grand or something. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's it's something you need to do because you want your book to be out there. Can you imagine somebody reading your book and there's mistakes in it? Would you be happy? You bought the book. Let's say you bought this book for 30 bucks or $50 and uh, you're reading it and there's mistakes in it. And what, what will go to your mind? You will stop in the middle. You will stop in the middle. All right. So you have a professional editor. Then you need to have a professional proofreader. So that person, after the editor, you take the book to the proofreader. But if you are lucky or if you, there's, there's somebody who can do editing and proofreading at the same time. And so if you have such person, go for it. If you have separate, it's up to your budget. So you need to know what you want to do. All right, so you get a proofreader who read the whole manuscript. It's not book yet, it's a manuscript. So you read the whole manuscript. Then what is going to happen? After you finish, you take the book to a professional book designer or graphic designer who is more professional about books. Don't go and take somebody who is more professional about magazines and pictures and all those stuff. No, I'm talking about somebody who is a professional book designer. You will design the interior. Look at it. The interior. And the same person will design the cover. Don't look for somebody who does separate. Like, you know, don't look for two people to do the same book. Get a, the same person who does the cover and does the interior. You, you get what I mean? So look at it. Look at my book here. Fortify your YouTube mind. Look at the design. It's a professional designer who did this. And I, this book, I even got an advanced praise by, by President Kufour saying that, you know, every youth need to grab a copy of this book. So every person, if you want to be somebody in life, you need to get a copy of this book. All right. So then after all this process, you need a publisher. <laughs> you need a publisher, which is a bonus that I'm giving you. Uh, so you got your manuscript, everything is done, your story, everything in the book form. Then you get, you go and look for a publisher. One, you can buy a barcode, uh, barcode, which is this one on the back of the book. You need to buy it because you're going to sell your books in the shop, in the libraries or in the bookshop. So the library can also have it. My book here is in the Australian State Library. It's in, in in Canberra, which is Australia as a country. I got the National Library. My book is there. This book is there. So if you go to a library and you order for Fortify Your Youthful Mind and Grow Rich, they will go and buy the book and come and give it to you. After reading, you take the book back. It's in also in State Library in Victoria. So same as this book here this book here so that's what you need to know you need a publisher one there's two type of publishing we got traditional publishers which are the penguins the lolo and all those big companies they don't publish book for upcoming publishers they don't unless you are a celebrity with like you know you got a social media fan or about let's say one million and all those stuff that's why they will even consider you but most of the time most of the time what they do is that they they publish book for ordinary like you know people who have already been out there like let's take it you take your book to uh, penguins and i take my book to penguins they will see that they will publish mine but not yours because you are just starting when i take my book to penguins and somebody like john maswell he have about 50 books already written <laughs> about leadership and so if you take john maswell and me they will take my book and just put it in the bin 
and take John Maxwell's book and publish. When it comes to the lady who wrote her reporter, J.B. Roland, J.T. Roland, they would take her book instead of John Maxwell. And so this is what you need to know. The, the traditional publishers, they, they're selective. They, 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 but you don't really get much money from traditional publishers because they are in charge of your book. They tell you how much they need to sell the book. They tell you exactly, like, you know, how much they've sold and all this stuff. So you don't really get much in that. Unless you buy the book and you sell it in your event and all those stuff. But when it comes to self-publishing, that means you got your book, you got your manuscript, or what they do is they print the book for you. You can even buy your own barcode, as I said, do the design and everything. They will just publish the book for you and they will put it on their website, but you will sell the books. But if you care to know, there are some people out there, man, they are shifty. Like my first book, I'm not going to tell you the company, but the way my book is online, like, you know, it's been even in different languages, but these people always telling me stories. You get what I mean? They're, they're using your, your sweat to make money for themselves. Meanwhile, they will be telling you stories. You, you get where I'm coming from? All right. So if you don't want to go through all this hustling, just inbox me and let's talk if you want to write a book because that's what I do. Or you need to go to my website, www.wise, is W-I-E-S, Inc, I-N-K, Price. So, Wise Inc, Price. Then the price is P-R-E-S-S. -S. Go there and let's talk or inbox me from here. I can help you to write a book without you putting pen or paper on the table because I will just listen to what you will say. You narrate your story and I will come up with a beautiful book like you've never ever seen before because I got team members, I got, I got secretary, I got designers, I got graphic designers, I got proofreaders, I got editors, they're all part of my team. So if you, if you want to do it on your way, you can have a team. But, you know, coming up as a new person, it's, I'm not sure how you can afford a team, but I have a team that we work together. So if you want to write a book, if you, you have a small story, you want to write kid book, youth book, adult book, whatever kind of book you want to write. Just inbox me. Let's talk about it. Don't worry about the price, but let's talk about it. I can give you even ideas where you can even get a bit of, you know, budgeted um, people that will help you to get to that level you want to get to. Because my aim here is to help you to get to that level. It's to help you to get something out of you. I want you to put something on this planet. You know, Tomorrow, if Lady Swad, she, unfortunately, let's say, God forbid, though, but if she's not there, her kid can take this book and continue to sell it. You know, there's a book which is so popular, The Richest, uh, no, The Think and Grow Rich. Think and Grow Rich was written by Napoleon Hill. Um, he's dead and gone. He died in 1970s. But his book is still alive because his children have taken it. And they got Napoleon Hill Foundation. You can sign up with it because they will send you messages and you read through. It's so good and better. All right. So, guys, thank you so much for having the time to be with me. You know, your life is your business. That's what you need to know. If you want to write a book, if you want to be any person better than who you are today or like your parents or anyone, let's talk. Let's talk because I believe that writing a book is one of the best things you can ever do to yourself. You know, you can't imagine having your own book in your hand. Like, you know, my kids always, they want to read my book. 
And I have set an example. Even though if the book doesn't go far as you want it, your kids can take it far. Because this, it's a lifetime changer though. Unless you go and sell it. If you sell your rights to a publisher, then you have nothing to do with the book. Like this book. I, I go... <laughs> I sold the right to a publisher, like, you know, because we need money. We didn't, we didn't know. We started. But today, if you're asking me to sell my rights, I won't do it. I won't. So you, before you even tell somebody to publish your book for you, own everything. Own the back code. This back code tells you who own the book. This back code. If you don't own yours... You have no book. Unless you go and change the... <laughs> let me tell you. The secret is, if you want to get your book back, you may not have the same design. Don't have the same design. Different design, buy a new barcode and put it at the back. Register the barcode in your name. That means the book belongs to you. But mine, they bought me the barcode. And so the book is in their name. Even though I wrote the book, I swear everything. That's what I told you. Initially, I didn't know much about it. And for years, because my first book was written in 2015. And we are in 2019. And I'm on my fifth book. So just imagine. I didn't give up on myself. Even though I know that my first place, I fucked up. But I didn't give up on myself. So don't give up on yourself. Your dream is possible. Become somebody. Become a great person for your children. Because we've, we've gone to that level that I was talking to my wife about it. That it seems our parents started from the bottom. And so we are also starting from the bottom, which is not cool. We need to start to that level so our kids will take it from there. It should be a baton changer. It shouldn't be all the time somebody is starting. We should get to that level that we can also leave it to our children's children and our their children's children. Thank you so much for the for having the time to be with me. You know, greetings to my family overseas in Ghana, especially my mates. And my friends in Bojase and families in Bojase, you know, tell you what's up there. All right. Thank you so much and God bless you.